is getting a little long, but the problem is, um, I'm only one hour into about a six or seven hour progression because I want to get all the way back up to where I was uh, when I died uh, in our last couple videos. So it's it's a lot to do. Um, well, this is all. The, look at this. Look at what I'm doing right here. That's huge. Just in this, like, just since starting over, I've already learned so much about like blueprints and all this other stuff about Victorio that just make it like awesome right I ooh. oh I need to shave anyway back to the montage just bear with me it's almost done unless you like montages in that case you're welcome for the extra long montage <laughs> After many hours and a lot of headache, we are back to where we started, uh, well actually where we ended, our last Factorio factory. We are now faced with the dilemma of making red circuits and blue potions. But I know you're super confused. Did that just give me extra? Oh it did, that's cool. I know you're confused about uh, how everything is working because it, it looks vastly different from the uh, the previous factory that I had. So let me go through and explain what's going on. First of all, this world is on semi-peaceful, so I won't get attacked, but the monsters are still there. They're right here. I won't get attacked though. We have the iron, right, going into our furnace array and this is the much better way of making a furnace array and it is not mine I totally stole it um, but it really helped me progress quickly so what we're doing is we're taking all of it taking all of our iron ore we're splitting it up into two lanes and running it along the outside of the furnaces all right the furnaces are then taking it in putting it in and we're splitting the lanes are the the um, we're splitting the uh, 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 belts with iron and coal, so then we have iron and coal coming from the same belt, and then we're just putting it, we're putting the smelted into the middle, right? So this is pretty straightforward. We're doing two lines of iron, one line of copper. This is where it gets a little more confusing. So we're taking, see this big iron line? This is the iron that we're using for all of this automation. This is the copper line. What we're doing here is we're doing a one-to-one -one ratio with green circuits and uh, wires. And we're all taking it off and we're making the stuff. And this, we're actually automating everything I need, even like miners. 
and splitters and belts. We're all automating this so that I have access to it uh, later. I need to show you our terrain system because I think you guys are gonna like this. This is our home. This is our home. Out here, we're putting on coal and we're putting on uh, copper and steel. Or, sorry, copper and iron, and we're taking off plastic and batteries. All right, get in the train and let's head on to the other stop. Here we are at the oil outpost. So, 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 so. This is a lot to explain. All of these are pumping oil, and it's all of this is getting pumped into these tubes, all right? Then, it's all the oil is getting cracked, which means it's getting turned into petroleum gas. Bear with me, bear with me. The petroleum gas is then being put into this chemical plant. Now, this is my own. This is my own. I didn't steal this. Uh, the petroleum gas is being put into the chemical plant with coal <clears throat> to make plastic. The plastic is huge. We, everything after blue pretty much uses plastic. Huge of importance, all right? So this is where the plastic's going. Then it's being sent down and put on the train right here. The train is limited to only pick up half plastic. The other side, the petroleum gas is being put into uh, chemical plants making sulfur, all right? Sulfur, bear with me, is then being turned into sulfuric gas by using iron plate, sulfur, and water and then that sulfuric gas is being turned into batteries by using iron plate, copper, and sulfuric gas. That's a lot. And we just found out that we need to be using <laughs> sulfur <sighs> to make blue potions. That's not fantastic because I didn't plan for that. So, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to come over here and take out, yeah, we're gonna have to take out some of the sulfur and put it on belts going, jeez, down, I guess. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six things. Now that we have engines being made, we need to take those... And we also need to combine those with advanced circuits. Advanced circuits are plastic, copper cable, and electronic circuit. We need a lot of red circuits for a lot of things, so we're gonna actually make an extra, we're gonna make some extra ones. All right, so this needs. Can I? I think I can. There we go, we're making reds now. Just like that, we are now making blue potions. All I need to do now is connect it up. There we go. We're making blue potions. I'm gonna give it a give it a couple minutes to get all filled up. But just like that, we're creating blue potions. And there we go. Blue potions are being made, and we are back in business, baby.